Please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession will now enter the hall. You may please rise and remain standing till all the members of the procession take their seat. May I request you to please switch off your cell phones or either keep in silent mode. Please rise for the... Now I invite dignitaries on the dais to kindly light the lamp and grace the occasion. Now invite 
Shambhavi Mishra, LLM student for Saraswati Vandana. Ya kundendut shar har dhavla Ya shubhra vashra vrata Ya vina vardand mandat kara Ya shet padmasana Ya Brahma Chut Shankar Pravriti Bhi Devai Sada Vandita Samam Patu Saraswati Bhagavati Neh Shesh Jadya Paha Shuklam Brahma Vichar Sar Paramam Adhyam Jagat Vyapini Veena Pustak Dharini Mabhayadhyam Jadhyam Thakara Paha Haste Sphatik Malika Mabhayadim Padmashani Sanstita Vandetam Parameshwari Bhagavati Bhutim Pradam Sharadam Bhutim Pradam Sharadam Bhutim Pradam Sharadam Now, I request Registrar Indian Law Institute to initiate convocation proceedings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Respected Chief Justice Sir and President Indian Law Institute, Sir, I have the honor to request you to declare the convocation open. I declare this convocation open. Now I request Director Indian Law Institute to present the annual report. Honorable Mr. Justice T.S. Thakurji, Chief Justice of India and the President of the Indian Law Institute. Honorable Mr. D.B. Sadanand Goraji, Minister of Law and Justice. Honorable Mr. Justice Anil Ardave, Judge Supreme Court of India, Treasurer Indian Law Institute. Honorable Mr. Justice J.S. Kehar, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Mr. Deepak Misraji, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Mr. Rakesh Manjal, Senior Advocate and Vice President, Indian Law Institute. Honorable members of the Governing Council, Executive Council, Academic Council and the Finance Committee of Indian Law Institute. Honorable judges, distinguished guests, esteemed parents, my dear colleagues, other members of the Indian Law Institute community, recipients of degrees and awards, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. It is my privilege and honor to welcome you all on this special occasion, the Convocation Ceremony of the Indian Law Institute. It is our privilege that Honorable Mr. D.V. Sadanand Gora graciously accepted our, our invitation to be the chief guest and has joined us on this August occasion. Sir, your presence today is a source of inspiration for the recipients of degrees and all our students. I also extend a warm welcome to Honorable Mr. Justice T.S. Thakur Sir, the Chief Justice of India and the President of the Indian Law Institute. On behalf of the Indian Law Institute, I would like to extend our gratitude to you, sir, for agreeing to preside over the convocation in spite of your extremely busy schedule. I would like to also thank you for your deep commitment towards the Indian Law Institute and we are certain that with your guidance and support, we would be able to take ILI to great heights. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The convocation day is a proud moment because this day marks the beginning of a new phase in lives of our students who I hope will prove to be soldiers of justice in their life pursuits. This occasion is a moment of celebration as well as reflection of looking back and marching ahead, proudly remembering the achievements and critically reflecting on the unfinished and the hours. It is a moment of hope which the university possesses in its students, hope that the students will live up to the ideals of equality, liberty and fraternity and work for the most disadvantaged sections and peoples. Indian Law Institute was accorded the status of deemed university in the year 2004 and in all these years we have endeavored to train our students not just in doctrinal law but also harness their research skill and critical thinking. I can proudly say that many of our students are doing extremely well in their capacity of judges, lawyers and law teachers across India. I would like to place on record the efforts and wise counsel of the former directors of the institute who have been instrumental in shaping the culture of high life. I also record, record with gratitude the contribution of distinguished judges, lawyers and academicians who in various capacities have extended their valuable support to the institute. The Indian Law Institute was established as a premier institute and continues to contribute to research programs and projects. Various research projects have been completed in due course in the past and many other works are in progress. In the last few years, ILI has successfully completed many research projects entrusted by various agencies of the government. These include the project assigned by National Commission for Minorities on compilation of important legal texts and case laws on minority rights, a study of murder cases with effect from 1-1-2009 with an emphasis on the reasons for delay in the decision of such cases and suggest managerial solution including the management of cases. Compilation of all important judges of the Honorable Supreme Court, High Courts and Telecom Settlement in Appellate Tribunal on important questions of law relating to telecom and broadcasting sector. Functioning of Gram Nayalaj in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Recently we have uh, uh, published compendium of bilateral and regional instruments, extradition and mutual legal assistance for SAR countries. Compilation of judicial pronouncement on Panchayati Raj system in India and report on merger of tribunals in India. There are many ongoing projects with ILI, the National Investigation Agency's project on the preparation of the compendium of terrorism related cases. The project of the Ministry of Law and Justice on the development of infrastructure facilities for subordinate judiciary and the Supreme Court of India's project on the restatement of Indian law. Restatement of, uh, in, uh, Restatement of Indian law in public interest litigation, contempt of court and legislative privilege has already been published. The next phase of project extends to three other areas, namely direct indirect taxes and allied subject on taxation, second constitutional law and allied subjects and criminal law and allied subjects. Work on those volumes is in the progress and we hope that by the end of this year these will be published. The Indian Law Institute has also undertaken a range of training activities and conducted successful workshops on diverse subjects. The ILI conducted its first annual conference on the theme of human rights, contemporary issues and challenges on December 10, 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to emphasize that institute, apart from contributing to research, seeks to build a critical pedagogy that responds to the contemporary social legal issues. To strengthen our research capacities, a MOU was signed with the Harvard School of Public Health, Harvard University. The aim is to facilitate the collaboration on research, policy development, teaching and professional development on international human rights law and international humanitarian law in India. Similarly, the another MOU between University of Austin, USA and the Indian Law Institute which, which, which was signed to establish a flexible framework for academic research and other collaboration including offering specialized courses as well as ex student exchange program between the University of Austin and the Indian Law Institute. Both the universities have assured to provide expert speakers to conduct short term and long term training programs for Indian judges and government lawyers and to collaborate on post graduate programs. 
With a view to promoting comparative scholarship and exposing students and faculty alike to new ideas, the Institute has also taken the initiative to invite scholars from leading universities of the world. We have also regularly held lectures and discussions with judges, members of judicial academics on diverse themes. At different points, delegations from other jurisdictions and countries have visited the Indian Law Institute and interacted with the faculty and the students. The faculty of ILI has also on many occasions visited national and international universities and delivered lectures. The ILI faculty has been contributing to legal research and scholarship in the form of books, monographs and journal articles in national and international journals. The faculty members have also been spearheading various research projects undertaken by the institute. The institute also encourages participation of the faculty in conferences, workshops and seminars both at the national and international level. We believe that academic freedom produces research and teaching excellence and therefore the institute seeks to create an academic milieu which is conducive to a scholar's growth. I also want to record that Indian Law Institute has to its credit many regular publications. The Journal of the Indian Law, journal of the Indian Law Institute is a quarterly journal and contains research articles on topics of current importance. Every year, ILI brings out a prestigious publication in the form of annual survey of Indian law in which the latest trends in every branch of law if importance are presented. There are many other subjects, specific titles which the institute will release soon. Indian Law Institute's library is one of the leading law libraries in, libraries in Asia and attracts scholars from all over the world for legal research. The Indian Law Institute has digitized the ILI publication and rare docu documents of the library are under the process of digitization. The institute has released some material on, on its website and is in the process of releasing the rare documents and law, re law reports in the next phase. The access to ILI digital library is free of cost. To provide better service to physically disabled students, the library has procured the latest technical facilities. The assistive devices for the benefit of reading, writing and listening to provide equal opportunity to differently abled students available in the library. I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude towards the Ministry of Law and Justice which has increased the grant to the institute from 1 crore to 5.33 crores. This I believe will significantly broaden our research goals and will enable us to expand our academic pursuits. I also want to put on record the relentless effort of the administrative start of, staff of ILI who ensured the smooth functioning of the institute and concerted efforts of faculty and students that are, that are directed at contributing to legal scholarship. Our objective is and has been to make ILI more inclusive and accessible such that the promise of social justice is not reduced to any empty rhetoric but informs the culture of ILI. Before I conclude, I would like to congratulate the recipients of degrees and medals. I am sure that the students of ILI would make the best, best use of their education and will strive hard and work towards a fair and just society. I hope they will be successful in using law as an empowering tool in the service of the marginalized and, empowered and the poorest section of the society. This success will be the real success of the Indian Law Institute. With these words, I conclude my report. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your brief annual report. Now it's a proud moment for uh, the students and their parents for getting their degrees. And for this I request again Director Indian Law Institute first to present the awardees of PhD degrees.
Sir, I present to you the students of the PhD program of the Indian Law Institute, whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and found qualified for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Law, to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the President of the Indian Law Institute, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of this University, and I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action, and conversation, you prove yourself worthy of the same. Now I request Kausar uh, to come on dash. Supposed to go? Thank you. Now I would like to request Registrar Indian Law Institute to present the candidate for the award of gold medals. Sir, I present the candidates of LLM 2012-2015 for the award of gold medals, merit certificates by the Chief Justice of India, Honorable Mr. Justice T.S. Thakur. And I now read the names. Ms. De Devadatta Mukherjee, overall topper, Let Sri Vishwanath Prasad, Madam. Mr. Jasbir Singh, overall topper, 2014-15, Sri Vishwanath, let Sri Vishwanath Prasad gold medal. Ms. Kimmi Singhal, 2010-12, overall topper, Mr. R.K. Anand gold medal. Ms. Navditya Tamar, 2010-12, Best Researcher and Topper in Criminal Law, Late Sri M. K. Nambiar Medal and Professor K. N. C. Pillai Medal. Ms. Meera Matthew, 2011-13, Overall Topper and Best Researcher, R. K. Anand Medal and Late Sri M. K. Nambiar Medal. Mr. Samarth Agrawal, 2011-13, Topper in Jurisprudence, P.P. Rao Medal. Mr. Vishal Induraksha, 2011-13, Topper in Criminal Law, Prof. K. N. C. Pillai Medal. Ms. Isha Vadhva, 2012-14, Overall Tupper, R.K. Anand Medal. Ms. Ninu Suresh, 
the best researcher, late Sri M. K. Nambiar Medal. Miss Aditi Dalakoti, 2012-14 Topper in Human Rights, P. P. Rao Medal. Mr. Amit Raj Agrawal, 2012-14, Tupper in Criminal Law, Professor K.N.C. Pillai Medal. Ms. Harshita Vasayan, 2013 to 15 overall topper and topper in criminal law RK Anon medal and professor KNC Pillai medal Mr. K Ganesh Raj 2013 to 15 best researcher Let's see M.K. Nambiar Medal. Miss Miss Shreya Mittal, 2013-15, Topper in Jurisprudence, P.P. Rao Medal. Mr. Victor Baivav Tandan, Merit Certificate. Ah, Merit Certificate. 2010-13, Mr. Rohit, 2011 and 14. Mr. Sudipto Banerjee, 2012-15. Now I request Dr. Vandana, Faculty of Law, to present the LLM candidates for the conferment of degree. All candidates for the degree of LLM, please rise. Sir, I present you the students of LLM program of the Indian Law Institute whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and found qualified for the degree of Master of Laws to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the President of the Indian Law Institute, I admit you to the degree of Master of Laws of this University and I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action and conversation, you prove worthy, you prove yourself worthy of the same. I now present the LLM degree to be awarded. Miss Arpit, Mr. Arpit Jain, 2013-14. Minakshi Sharma. Minakshi Sharma, 2013-14. Shunil Arya, 2013-14. 
Deepika Kambos, 2013-14. K. Lalrin Dhiki, 2013-14. Manoj Kumar Manoj Kumar 2013-14 Avishek Tripathi 2013-14 Yashika Chokar 2013-14 Pranami Bhakta <laughs> Sumit Chaudhari 2013-14 Karthi KN in S 2013-14 Ramchandra Orao 2013-14 Anurag Deepak Verma 2013-14 Mehpara 2013-14 Vikram Dubey 2013-14 Swati Solanki 2013-14 Karunesh Shukla 2013-14 Prakash Sharma 2013-14 Aditi Malhotra 2013-14 Shivangi Sachdeva 2014-15 Kriti Parashar 2014-15 Muhammad Ramizur Rahman 2014-15 Nidhi Minj 2014-15 V. A. Vijayanand 
निधि भी कौन क्या नाम पढ़ी था वी ए विजयनंद वी ए विजय वी ए विजयनंद हाँ निखिल रंजन अमित चौधरी 2014-15 प्रेमांशु मीना 2014-15 संदीप 2014-15 मोनिका नाहर 2014-15 Rishi Kumar, 2014-15 Sheetal Sasdeva, 2014-15 Amrita Chakravarti, 2014-15 Ankita Singh, 2014-15. Sir, thank you so much for your valuable time. Now I request Honorable Union Minister for Law and Justice, Sri D. V. Sadananda Gowda, to present the LLM degrees to the other students. अभिषेक कुमार पांडे 2010-12 यस अथियूर रहमान खान 2010-12 मनीष चहर 2010-12 2010-12 एस मर्सी देवरा 2010-12 सुधीर यादव 2010-12 अनुरंजन शर्मा 2010-12 अपूर्वा कुलकर्णी शर्मा 2010-12 Naptika 2010-12 Avinash Chari Alok Kumar Alok Kumar Alok Kumar 2010-12 Alok Kumar Alok Kumar Alok Kumar Alok Kumar Avinash Chari this is Alok Kumar. Avinash Chari, 
सुमिति आहुजा तुष्टि चोपरा 2010-12 निशान कुमार 2010-12 बालाजी पी बालाजी पी चोला राजा एम चोला राजा एम नोट हेयर सरांस जैन शालिनी नावल शालिनी नावल रोहित अरोरा बुभा मृन्यल दत्तत्रय काजल भाटी निखिल कश्यप विश्वतोषधर प्रतीक देवल संकल्प संकल्प जैन अविनाश चिमांका बरखा त्रेहान बरखा त्रेहान बरखा त्रेहान प्रियंका गांधी Thank you so much, sir. Now I invite Mr. Justice, Honorable Justice Anil R. Bhuve to kindly award the LLM degree. Ms. Deepika Priyadarsini Avijit Divedi Priti Giri Priti Giri Jyotima Nagvansi Priya Mittal Anjali Prabhakaram Virendra Vikram
शबीना यस्मीन अदिति सिंह लवलीन शर्मा सीमा साइनी ओके सीमा साइनी तृप्ति अरोरा नॉट हियर विपुल पी सांगी गुरु प्रकाश गुरु प्रकाश गुरु गुरु प्रकाश अंजलि प्रभाकरण सुशांत रोचलानी शर्मिला शर्मिला आर सीमा सिंह नहीं सीमा सिंह सीमा सिंह नॉट हियर वावर आदित्य जडोन रवीश कुमार गोयल गौरव अरोरा उत्कर्ष वर्मा संदीप मल्लिक संदीप सोनिया शौर्य आनंद सिंह अपूर्व सर्वरीय जितेंद्र सिंह स्वाति सिंह सचन स्वाति सिंह सचन शैलेंद्र कुमार शैलेंद्र कुमार निर्मल दीपक भट्टी चौधरी साची चौधरी शिल्पी यादव अरुल वर्मा श्री कृष्ण पूनम अटे जे जनानी थैंक यू सो मच सर सर सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर वैल्यूबल टाइम सर Ladies and gentlemen, I request all you to give a big loud of uh, applause for all the students who have visited.
now now i request honorable judge justice jays k hai to please present the llm degrees garima goswami शायद मोहम्मद शाहनवाज आरुष पठानिया शायद अकीब अली दीपिका सिंह स्वागता चांगमाई किशले सोनी उदयन कुमार गौतम रिचा चतुर्वेदी लालून थंगाई प्रियंका चौधरी सुदीप कुमार सकेत आगे आगे सुदीप कुमार सकेत अमिता ज्योत्ना सिंह संदीप कश्यप दास दुष्यंत कुमार मीना वहादुद्दीन शिवेंद्र कुमार मिश्रा आरुषि बात्रा आरुषि बात्रा अंकिता बैनर्जी श्रुति श्रेष्ठ जायती चंद्रा रंजना दुबे अमित घोष गुरमीत नेहरा सुकन्या सुकन्या सिंघा साजिया सिद्दीकी उदय प्रताप सिंह उदय प्रताप सिंह च 
चिंटू जैन रणजीत रेनरीता हिलोरी अर्पण शर्मा अमित कोंकन्या श्रावण कुमार कुशल यादव थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर वैल्यूबल टाइम सर I know it is a tedious process, and but all the students would like to get their degrees from the justices and all from the dais. That's why we are troubling you all. Now I request Justice Deepak Mishra, Judge Supreme Court. विपुल दुबे आनंद विकास मिश्रा अविनाश कुमार फैजल नसीम वैभव मेहता सतीश कुमार सिंह अनिल कुमार विश्वकर्मा पूनम हवासीन श्रीदेवी पानीकर श्रीदेवी पानीकर पुनीत सिंह बिंद्रा गौतम कुमार महतो ज्योति का बहल मेघा नागपाल योगेंद्र कुमार वर्मा योगेंद्र कुमार महेंद्रपाल अरोरा प्रकाश गौतम लाल पेकिमी रामचरण शिखा साइनी सुरभि पांडे रितिका सिंघल
भावना रितिका सिंगल भावना मेहरोत्रा खुशबू कुमारी नेहा निमेश कमल कुमार आर्या सुकृति यज्ञेश राहुल मोहोद सुकृति यज्ञेश राहुल मोहोद राहुल मोहोद प्रभाश्री सैन देवेश त्रिपाठी विशाल शर्मा विजय कमर आवाना कतरोलाइन क्वराटोलेन सॉरी अनिशा जॉनी so much sir for your valuable time and raising this occasion now i would like to invite mr rakesh munjal senior advocate and also vice president of uh, india law institute to present the llm degree अभिनव कुमार मिश्रा सौरभ कुमार गौतम संजय सैनी अदिति चौधरी नेहा चौहान बी भावना राव रुपेश चंद्र माधव मिनी श्रीवास्तव प्रशांत खटाना जसीर अशरफ मीर नेहा समीर मुखोपाध्याय जसबीर सिंह बजाज देवेंद्र कुमार गोयल
प्रमोद सिंह अभिनव आलवर सुजीत कुमार ईशिता शुरन अदनान इरशाद विनिका की हो गारिमा शुक्ला हरप्रीत कौर सत्यम थरेजा ऋषिकेश झा सालू सिन्हा ध्रुव मल्लिक संदीप जिंदल गुरुदेव साहिल अक्षय गोयल अजय कुमार शर्मा सौरभ पांडे गजेंद्र कुमार गोस्वामी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर now i would like to uh, invite dr anurag deep sir for a faculty in the law institute to present the candidates for the post graduate diploma to the director in the law institute all candidates for the post graduate diploma please rise at your respective places sir i present you the students of pg diploma programs of the indian law institute whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and found qualified for the diploma of post graduate to which i pray that they may be admitted by virtue of the authority vested in me as the director of as the president of the institute I admit you all to the postgraduate diploma in various courses of this university and I charge you that ever in your life thought action and conversation you prove yourself worthy of the same Thank you sir now it is again the time for awarding the gold medal to the pg diploma students so now i request registrar in the law institute to present the candidates of pg diploma in various courses for the award of gold medals and for this i request sri 
डी वी सदानंद गौड़ा हॉनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर लॉ एंड जस्टिस टू कम फॉरवर्ड Two thousand twelve, fifteen, for the award of gold medal, merit certificates for alternative dispute resolution, corporate laws and management, cyber laws, human rights laws, environmental laws and management, intellectual property rights laws, international trade law, labor law, security and banking laws and taxes tax laws, by uh, the honourable Indian Law Minister, Mr. Devi Sadanand Gowda, Vice President, Indian Law Institute. मिस्टर अपूर्व उपमन्यु मिस तानिया खान्ना मिस्टर विवेक मल्होत्रा Mr. Prabhat Kumar, Ms. Sonali Mitra, Colonel Arvind Rishi, प्रखर शर्मा दिव्या चूग सुचेता मिश्रा दिव्या चूग सुचेता सुचेता मिश्रा प्रिया मिस प्रिया मिस्टर महानुभव राजेंद्र मिस्टर अमित कुमार पांडे सर आई प्रेजेंट द मेरिट सर्टिफिकेट फॉर पीजी डिप्लोमा मिस चांदनी मालोत्रा मिस अमृता मिस चांदनी मालोत्रा मिस्टर संजीव गुलाती अमृता का अमृता का सर्टिफिकेट मिस्टर संजीव गुलाती संजीव गुलाती मिस्टर अक्षत
मिस्टर अक्षत गुप्ता मिस्टर अक्षत गुप्ता मिस्टर गौरव पुरी मिस्टर गौरव पुरी मिस्टर अमोद कुमार दलेला मिस तवलीन कौर मोही मिस्टर मनोज सेठी मिस्टर शशांक गुप्ता मिस्टर ललित कुमार जैन ललित कुमार जैन मिस्टर मिस्टर आशीष खंडेलवाल Thank you so much, sir. It is indeed a proud moment and privilege for all the students to have received their degrees from the dais. And now I request registrar to place the record of degrees that has been conferred, including the names of candidates receiving their degrees in absentia before the Honorable Chief Justice of India, President Ayali. Thank you, sir. Now I request Registrar, Indian Law Institute, to invite Honorable Chief Justice of India to deliver the presidential address. Respected the Chief Justice of India and President Indian Law Institute, sir, I have the honor to request you to deliver the presidential address. Honorable Shri D.V. Sadanand Gowda Ji, Minister for Law and Justice, my esteemed brother judges, Justice Dave, Justice Keher, Justice Deepak Mishra, Shri Rakesh Munjal, Vice President of the ILI, Honorable Ministers, Members of uh, Governing Council, Executive Council, Academic Council and Finance Committee, ILI, Distinguished guests, members of the ILI, recipients of degrees and awards, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. This convocation marks 
a fabulous moment in your life, your achievement of what you have sought and worked for. It has been made possible because of your teachers, your parents, your friends, all those who supported you through this period, including all those who made you experience and assimilate the many dimensions of the human personality. You carry today a degree and or a medal for a livelihood and a future lit up with hope. You do this with a sparkle and a laugh for a starry future on the strength of the brand value of your degree, namely an Indian Law Institute degree. All this is well deserved and I am privileged to share your happiness. But then, what after this? This degree puts you into the future market of probably the most valuable commodity in India today, namely a job or a profession. This is a volatile market because your degrees take you to many folks in the road to a career. The world is your oyster as you weigh between being a civil service officer, a judicial officer, a litigation lawyer, a corporate lawyer, hopefully a public service lawyer and above all a law teacher and an excellent researcher. A volatile economy of a youthful India coping with leapfrogging global technology seems to say that the only constant is change. But no matter how your mind romances the future and where it takes you, there are certain constants in this changing scenario. Let me attempt to put across to you some of them. First is no matter what is the work, give it your best. The work may be grand or small, dull or scintillating, tedious or challenging. The constant is to do it well with your heart and soul. The second is not to do this out of fear or a drive for a cognition as your sole goal. Qualitative work from your trained talent is not the outcome of a brooding pressure that someone is looking at what you are doing. At the most it may temporarily check something wrong that you may like to do for quick lucrative advantage or to even outscore with someone you do not like. When you sense yourself at that point, then the only question you should ask yourself is, Will I do it if my mother were here? Policing is essential in your distrustful world to protect the honest from mischief. But it is not a cradle for devotion and excellence from within you. Another attraction is prominence instead of performance. Ah, to be on the front page and editorial columns of newspapers, to be flashed on channels and to be put on the front covers or to be certified by the oily poily of the socializing intellectual circuit, performance like truth speaks for itself. If it needs the crutches of organized prominence, then it is neither. Hence it is nice to be candid about yourself with yourself. Ultimately, no one is a better judge of you than you, yourself. It is being within you to hear that ever-present inner voice that innately tells you what is right and what is wrong. So no matter which fork in the career road you take, what matters is whether you function as a human being firm on principles, adaptable to discipline change, and constantly striving to leave things better than what they were when you started. The third is an ethic of public responsibility. You know, in our country it means using your analytical skills to constantly appraise the larger consequences for others of what you do. This is the ethic of caring and it is not based on quid pro quo or economic calculation. Your parents did not enter into an advanced calculation in bringing you up to what you are today. Economics is essential for avoiding wastage and ensuring efficiency. It is not the foundation of human concern and care. That remains beyond the empirical and the combined movement of law and economics. It means giving voice to the voiceless and the oppressed instead of taking cover under the legal formulation that those 
who do not know what they have or what they are entitled to can never know what has been taken away from them. This ethic requires you to stand up for justice in whatever you do. Its byproduct is your con continuing happiness. You are connected to the world, internet or no internet. How does one live with this ethic and achieve it? Let me quickly mention three things. Title or status, time management and imagination. All of you will be great achievers which will get you important titles, status and facilities. These are a public trust and anyhow a title or status is meant to be used only if and when the need for discipline arises. Its power is not meant to swell your head, throw your weight around and put it to illegitimate use. Carry your achievements humbly and humanly. Life is never honey and marigolds. It is a transition, but it is a precious transition. This makes every moment of it invaluable. Savor it, enjoy it by managing your time, including the capability to manage emergent situations. And all this is a hearty, creative laugh, if you imagine. The poet's mind, the painter's stroke, the musician's note, the sculptor's touch, the actor's portrayal, or the fashion model's walk, bespeak a blossoming that captures the mind and furthers it into a transcendental controlled emotion. So imagine yourself and your work, join yourself and others into it and you with them by caring. I congratulate all of you, your parents and families. God bless you and may he be with you always. Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable guidance and also I hope that all of us will hold it in true spirit. It's really an inspiring speech, sir. And now I request Registrar India Law Institute to invite Chief Guest to deliver the convocation address. Respected Chief Guest, sir, the Honorable, Human, Human, uh, Honorable Union Minister of Law and Justice, sir, I have the honor to request you to deliver the convocation address. Chief Justice of India and the President of Indian Law Institute, Honorable Mr. Justice T.S. Thakur, Honorable Judges of Supreme Court, Shri Justice Anil Dawe, Justice J.S. Kehar, Justice Deepak Mishra, Honorable Vice President, uh, Senior Advocate, Honorable Rakesh Manjil, uh, Registrar, Director, Honorable Judges, Distinct Guests, their students, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor and privilege to participate in the fourth convocation of the Indian Law Institute. The stars of the convocation today are indeed the graduate, graduating students. So I would like to take a special privilege in congratulating all the graduating students present over here with a special word of congratulations to those who have received the medals. I would also like to extend my greetings to the proud parents who will ever cherish the memories of this day with much greater fondness than the graduating students. I am happy to note that Indian Law Institute is empowering the young minds with the socially relevant legal education, skill and ability and inculcates in, in them the values of professionalism. It is my privilege to address such a such an august congregation present here comprising a rich group of illustrious academicians and erudite scholars. The scholars will be going out into the world with one of the most valued degree in the world. It is because the Indian Law Institute has the unique character and distinction of being convergence of the three branches of government, the executive, the legislature and the judiciary. The Indian Law Institute is a signature on the road of the legal education whose origin were enriched by the inaugural function blessed by none other than the first president of India, 
Dr. Rajendra Prasad, in the gracious presence of First Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and Honorable Chief Justice of India, Justice S.R. Das. Since its momentous birth in 1956, the Institute has been amongst the leading centers of legal research in our country. The deemed university status has further augmented its profile manifold. Pandit Nehru's virtuous wishes on the event are recalled at the Institute as cherished memories of a stirring tribute and recognition of the men and women of, law, of the law. He had envisioned the Institute as an instrument to make it an invaluable contribution to the advancement of modern welfare state. I am happy to note that the Institute is aiming at cultivating the science of law, promoting advanced studies and research in law so as to meet the social, economic and other needs of Indian people, encouraging and conducting investigations in legal and allied fields and imparting instruct, uh, instructions in law. I am also happy to note that the Institute is working to uphold the sacred object of imparting legal education as justice education to transform the young minds as a human resource for providing justice, social, social economic and political, the cornerstone of India's Indian constitution. Father of our nation Mahatma Gandhi expressed his views on education and I quote here, what is really required to make democracy function is not knowledge of facts but right to education. The quality of governance in democracy depends largely on the capabilities and vision of the people who occupy the institutions of governance. Education empowers the people and equips their leaders with the capabilities and capacities needed for good, good governance. It is you scholars and academicians who are ultimately going to make the real difference to the quality of governance. Education impacts a nation, nation's level of democracy and legal education affects the very essence of modern democratic society that is rule of law. Law is the critical instrumentality both for preservation of society and its evolution to higher levels of existence. History tells us that whenever these principles are undermined, factors weaken the structure of the edifice. Therefore, it is imperative that we dedicate ourselves to the rule of law in letter and spirit. It is the spirit, not in the form of law, that keeps justice alive. Legal education gives you a chance to be leaders of tomorrow, to play a significant role, not only in the development of the policies in our great country, but also to play an important part in the development of the Committee of Nations. Legal education is a vital link in the creation of knowledge concepts as well as the application of such concepts in society. The need for trained law personnel in academia, litigation, corporate practice, government and civil society has increased significantly over the last few years and is expected to rise exponentially in the years to come. The degree that are conferred on you today are neither merely a formal mark of education nor the mere recognition of voluminous memorized and absorbed ideas. They represent holistically the awareness and wisdom that you are gained from your scholarly endeavors. Good education secures a sense of equity, preserving individuality with diversity. Knowledge with capabilities to make its proper and profitable use for entire mankind makes it a potent tool of human development, particularly in the information age. Legal education also addresses the mutual relationship between law and society with its different actors, inst institutions and processes. Law is created and put into practice through societal processes. At the same time, law affects and effects and affects social change. Beyond this, law is further understood to constitute social institutions such as the polity, family, property, corporation, crime and even the individual. The study of law and other specializations in the social sciences are thus closely interwoven. Social, cultural and political opportunities 
in any uh, any culture are determined at least in part by legal rights and the ability to realize them. There is a Talmudic saying that scholars create peace in the world. I found this to be deeply true. I firmly believe, believe scholars need to rethink about their mission and their relationship to society in every generation. The legitimate aim of education is to promote the major values of democratic society and to reduce the number of moral mavericks who do not share democratic preferences. So that is what I want from all of you. I want you to allow uh, all, I want you all to stay true to the most real, most sincere, most authentic part of yourselves. I want to ask you these fundamental questions. Who do you want to be? What inspires you? How do you want to give back? And then I want you to take a deep breath and trust yourselves to plan your own course and create your mark on the world. One thing I would like to tell you before uh, your departure from ILI is that the road ahead is not going to be easy. Law is a great profession but not the easy one. The world won't always see you in those hoods and robes. I expect you all to believe in your capabilities while facing the challenges of life. We need the best and brightest of your generation to lead in government and in business. You will have to use the professional tools to shape the law and tailor it to the needs of, a, of an evolving society in a world of unimaginable uh, when we sat there where you are now sitting. I believe that an institution that has values and acts on them can really change the world and an individual can too. That can be you, that must be you, scholars your values matter. The moral law within yourself must command you to make the highest possible good in the world the finest objectives of all our conduct. Convocation is a landmark in the lives of your students and now your motto of life should be Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Nrityorma Amritangamaya which means lead me from the unreal to the real from the darkness to light and from the death to immortality. Let temples of learning such as help unfold the Indian inter intellect to greater and still greater heights of knowledge and let us work together to enable an individual to realize his full potential so as to contribute the cause of nation building. Have the courage to decide for yourself what is right and what is wrong and make firm commitment to the good cause so as to convert your dreams into reality. Never stop learning. This is your world. Thank you degree holders. May God bless you. Once again I congratulate you all. Thank you sir. And I hope that all of us will be taking your words and with commitment students will be moving forward. And now we are approaching the last stage of the convocation, that is the dissolution of convocation. For this, I request Registrar Indian Law Institute to request Honorable Chief Justice of India, President Indian Law Institute to dissolve. Respected the Chief Justice of India and President the Indian Law Institute, Sir, I request you to dissolve the convocation. I dissolve this convocation. Now I request everyone to please rise for the national anthem.
Now the academic procession will now leave the hall. I request for the marching tune please. Now the procession will take the reverse order. All the governing council members, is um, executive committee members, faculties, please come forward. Now I request all of you to join us for high tea at the atrium. Thank you. All the ILI staff who has been assigned to distribute degrees at the counter, please come and please go at your respective counters at the registration desk. ILI staff who has been assigned to distribute the PG Diploma degrees. PG Diploma students kindly collect your degrees.